this, this lecture is um, the third chapter, uh, talk about the third chapter of our subject in num numerical method. Uh, and the chapter is on the resolution of systems of linear equations. So uh, to begin with, um, I think in the last chapter, you've seen uh, two previous chapters. Uh, the two previous chapter was the first one. It talks about uh, modeling and, and, and using computers in doing calculation in general. So if I do remember what we have seen is uh, we did some, um, we looked into uh, computers and error analysis. Um, so the thing that's related are uh, approximation and uh, round off errors. Uh, we talk about significant figures and how they play, uh, how the computation of them in, in a numerical way using computers affect the, the significant figures. And I think we've also seen uh, topics on truncation errors and the consequence of them. And then uh, next after that, in, in chapter two, uh, directly we have looked into finding roots of equations. So a single equations. So um, in order to summarize, there's uh, in general two methods of uh, solving or finding roots of equations. One of them is uh, open method. Uh, for example, bisection method, and then uh, the second one will be um, what we call an open method, such as uh, newton raphson method, right? So uh, in this third chapter, what we're going to look at is um, is the resolution of systems of linear equation. So instead of uh, solving only one equation, now we have multiple equations that we want to solve them together, okay? So, um, so before we start that, uh, I would like to recall again on the relevance of the topics because it's very hard when we try to do uh, calculations and we try to apply various methods, but we, we somehow uh, get detached uh, from the, the relevance and the why of, of the thing, right? So because this chapter is, is going to be quite heavy, uh, what we're going to learn are methods that have been developed in order for uh, for us to to be able to do calculations easily so there are just methods there are steps and method uh, steps and steps but when we do just steps and steps without uh without thinking back about the relevance and the why we do it it will be very uh, very hard to to concentrate right so so um just uh for the beginning about the relevance uh, of the subject so we know that um in um in, in engineering, engineering is, is actually the third layer of things. What we call the third layer is, the first layer is what I would call uh, the nature. So the nature is, uh, for example, the nature is the thing that happens in the world uh, naturally uh, that we could observe. Uh, for example, uh, I like to give an example of, you know, uh, a man or Newton that, that saw the apple, uh, supposedly the apple that fell down when he was uh, resting or working under an apple tree. So that's an observation of the phenomenon in the physical world, right? So physical world, things happen, we can see them, we observe them, we can feel the effect of them, but that's about it, right? It affects us, uh, we can see them, uh, it happens all around us, uh, but just by observing them, there, there's, there's nothing much can be done. So they are on their own, naturally happen. And then the second layer, what I call is uh, the science. So the science is um, is the next step where you don't just uh, feel the effect of it, you don't just observe it, but now you try to understand and try to uh, try to understand uh, the behavior itself. Uh, that's when you, we we create analytical equations of that observation. Uh, we did examples. Uh, we did experiments. Uh, when we do experiments in order to uh, to come up with uh, empirical equations that can explain what happens, right? And then that help us in predicting what would happen if the same thing happened again, right? So that's when uh, the next step would be uh, creating an equation that explains the, the observation that we've seen in the physical world, right? And engineering. So now we, we are in engineering part, the third layer. Engineering is... It's a step further. It's not just observing and explaining the observation, in, just like in science. But now what we do is uh, we want to design and predict things according to our knowledge in science. 
So it's designing and predictions. It's when uh, things get um, needs more computational power, need more calculation. You need to apply the equations that you have found in 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 during your observation that you have deduced from your observation. Now we want to use them to create new things. So when you, you want to create new things, we need computational power. So this is where the subject comes in, uh, numerical method, right? So for example, uh, the first layer, uh, the analogy or the example I, I, I really like to show is uh, natural world is just the apple that fall down. And then uh, the science is when Newton uh, observe, do observation and try to come up with the equations. And the third layer engineering is when we use the fact that there is gravitational power, but now we try to use that gravitational power in order to build something that, that will be useful for us. Uh, for example, here it's an example of, uh, of predicting or, or controlling a, a missile trajectory uh, of anti-missile uh, anti uh, rocket trajectory, for example. Right? So the relevance is now we need computational power. We have, uh, we have to know how to compute them using computers that we have today. Uh, so uh, the subjects come in, okay? So um, just to make it clear, the, the objective of this subject now is, uh, there's mainly two, uh, two, 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 two main objectives. The first one is, uh, I hope that you will be able to solve problems involving linear algebra equations. And of course, appreciate the application of these equations in mechanical engineering, because we, we are in a faculty of mechanical engineering. You want to first, um, solve problem of mechanical engineering using uh, the method that we're going to see later. And then, of course, doing this by, uh, I hope that you'll discover a different numerical method that, that, that I'll, 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 I'll show you and I'll expose to you uh, during the course, right? So uh, in this chapter, we're gonna go through uh, several chapters. So uh, just uh, for a note, this come from a reference book that I'll I will tell you, I'll put in the caption below, uh, the reference book, right? So what we're going to see first is, uh, in the first step, we're going to look at uh, linear algebraic equations in general. Uh, so how do we get them? Where do we get them? For example, in mechanical engineering. And then directly, we, we're going to enter into the methods of solving this system of linear equations. So in general, there are, uh, it can be divided into two methods. Uh, one method is what we call direct method, and another one is what we call iterative methods. So uh, we're going to look at uh, direct method first, and the biggest direct method that we know is uh, ghost elimination. So this is what we call direct method. And then the second method is iterative method. Iterative, iterative method will be found over here, and one of the biggest method is Jacobi method, and so, or a uh, Gauss-Scheidel method. So this is what we call a, an iterative method. So there's two uh, big family of method in solving systems of linear equations. Direct, which is represented by Gauss elimination, and iterative method, which is represented by uh, Gauss-Scheidel or Jacobi uh, method, which I will expose uh, through, the, through, the, through the courses. Right? And then in the, in the middle, there, there is uh, what we call special methods, uh, special methods that can be used when we have a specific arrangement of metrics. Right? So one of them is what we call LU decomposition. So this is related to, uh, this is a specific method that is related to arrangement of metrics. Arrangement of our metrics. Okay. So we see here that in, in order to do this, I've introduced the notion of metrics. We need to use metrics. So uh, in the first chapter after this, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, uh, some revisions on, on metrics. Right? Uh, and then at the end, uh, we, will try, uh, we will try to do some engineering case studies, especially in uh, mechanical engineering. Okay. So <clears throat> always in the uh, introduction part, um, so here, uh, what we've seen here in, 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 in the left column is uh, what we call a pre-computer error. So just for you to, to, to realize how important numerical method is. Uh, so there are periods uh, 
there are two separated periods which is uh, separated by uh, the existence of uh, powerful computation tools there are pre-computed era and then there are computer era so pre-computed era means when the calculations used to be manual uh, fairly manual so what happened is uh, the three box here are the three steps of of of, of calculations or solving of problems uh, and for example during the pre-computer era, uh, era what happened is um, the three step would be the first one is to uh, to do the formulation what we mean by formulation is of course uh, observing the observing the problem and try to write down the equations that describe the problem so that's what we call formulation and then this, that's, that's the same step uh, in both pre-computer or after computer error. The second step, so the first step is formulation. The second step would be uh, calculating the solution. So once we have all the equations laid down, what, what we need to do is to solve that, uh, that equation, system of equations. So, uh, so that's the, here are the main difference between uh, pre-computer and computer error, right? So uh, I'll just go through the steps first. And the third step, once you have done the calculation, what we do is uh, do the implementation interpretation so once you have the results we look into the result and we try to interpret and uh, make a conclusion on what would happen uh, uh, according to, to a, a certain problem right so the three steps are the same formulation uh, finding solution or calculation and then at the end interpretation so the main the main uh, difference between two of them is in the solution part in, in the calculation part solution or calculation Right. So in pre-computer era, what, what would happen is uh, in order to find the solution or do the calculation, it needs more time because the calculations are fairly manual. So they would need elaborate amount of time and often complicated method to make problem uh, tractable. So in order to do the calculation, they need a, a huge amount of time. But now uh, with the introduction of computer, what happened is we have computer programs that compute uh, the solution using a certain given method that we'll see later using certain method and it will reduce the time of uh, calculation um, with a huge uh, amount of time uh, it will reduce the time uh, consequently right so uh, what happened is uh, in both case the time that we have in order to uh, to design or to to find a solution to a problem are usually constant we have let's say uh, okay, we have three months to, to solve a problem. Then uh, those three months would, would, would uh, include the three steps, formulation, solution, and interpretation. Uh, Pre-computer era, what happened is the solution would take a huge amount of time. So there, there's going to be less time for formulation and interpretation. Right? So the formulation take, uh, have to be done quickly and the interpretation would have to be done quickly. So most of the conversation uh gone into uh finding the solution but now what happened is uh finding the solution is easy then we will have more time in uh, thinking about the formulation in in really pondering uh, our hypothesis on this equation correct or not uh, is it uh is it relevant to do such hypothesis on our equations so that's we can spend more time in formulation and can also spend more time in interpret interpretation now which means once you have result, you can you can you can uh, you can decide whether it's relevant or not, and then you can interpret it and relate it to to the actual condition of of your problems. So the discussion will will have more times here in formulation interpretation instead of pre era computer where uh, all all the things talk about only the solution, and only the calculation part. Okay. So uh, the next, uh, so I'll stop here for now. Uh, second part, we're going uh, to look into uh, revision of matrix and of course into uh, putting uh, putting our system of equations into matrix form because we're gonna only solve them in, in matrix forms, okay? So this is for now, continue in second part later. Thank you.